The first thing you need to do is visit the RSGB website and look for the full license syllabus. Please ensure this is the current syllabus and download this document for your later use. You will see each syllabus section number to the left and the exam question number to the right. A quick look through the document and you will see it is in question order of the exam, starting with question 1. Let's use this syllabus to your advantage. Here you can see, that for question 1 of your exam, you can be tested on two of the syllabus sections as stated, on the column on the left. In this case it is section 1A2 and 1A5. So, what this is telling you, is that for question 1 in your exam you can only be tested on syllabus sections, 1A2 and 1A5, you cannot be tested on any other syllabus sections, or topic. To the right hand side of the question number you will see text. This text explains what each syllabus section contains and really is the information you will be tested on, let's look at this further. So, syllabus section 1A2 states that you will be tested on your knowledge of amateur radio call signs, where you can see it states. Identify the types of UK license and the format of all call signs in use including regional secondary locators, and all suffixes but not, in this section, club, special event and contest call signs. That means if syllabus section 1A2 comes up at question 1 then you will be expected to know the type and format of amateur radio call signs, not including clubs, special events or contest call signs. The second syllabus section that could come up at question 1, is, 1A5. Where section 1A5 states. Recall the requirements for station identification. Note. For the purposes of the examination this includes identifying when there is a change of frequency, mode, operator unless under supervision, supervisor, regional secondary locator. When a word recall is used, that simply means all you need to do is remember what is typed at this section. In this example it is about station identification. You are not required to understand it, but merely remember it. To summarize this example, question 1 in your exam will be on, syllabus section 1A2 or 1A5. Meaning your exam question will be testing, your memory on recall about station identification or testing your understanding of amateur radio call signs. The example covered, applies to all questions and syllabus sections within the syllabus document. Ok. To use this to your advantage, you need to mainly study questions which have, three, or, less, syllabus topics per question. Then work your way through the syllabus document. Write down the question number and also the syllabus section which can be tested at that question number. Remember it is three or less. Now that you have a list of the questions with three or less syllabus sections then you must concentrate all your efforts on these syllabus sections when studying. Whether you're using the full license manual, or, using other online resources. Be sure to concentrate most of your studying on those syllabus subjects that you have noted down. That is three of less. Once you are satisfied that you have the three or less topic questions covered, then, you can move on to the questions which have four or five topics to spend your remaining study time on.
If you follow the method which I have described here then I have no doubt that you will pass your full license exam. Good luck and 73.